Hello everyone, I am Matt Hoots with Sawhorse, a design build firm here in Atlanta, Georgia. And as you know, I'm always on the hunt for better products for design and construction of our homes for our clients. And last week, I was picking up some samples for one of our clients to show them some of the options that they had for products that kind of look like marble without going with marble. So I picked up this Neolith two centimeter slab in this sample and I grabbed a couple other samples and as I was leaving my rep Ralph showed me he's like you know what we've got great products for countertops but you can use our products in other areas of the house inside and on the outside so Ralph is going to talk to us about some of the shower applications because this is a two centimeter thickness and they have some thinner products that can be clad on the inside of a shower. Now they say grout is out and we're trying to look for possibilities of cladding a shower or other enclosures without having that grout line that you have to worry about cleaning. All right, Ralph, kind of explain to us what's going on here. So this shower is made with our 15 by 30 Calicata Gold samples. We have a warehouse completely full of these uh, towel uh, samples. Look at the grout, how the grout, our towel people, are the best fabricators out there. This shows a slutered edge right here. This is a good way of uh, actually doing this soapbox right here has a slutered edge going all the way around. Uh, this is what we call value engineered and uh, really brings down the price comparison to a mitered edge, um, which you see over here. This right here is a mitered shower and it's kind of the creme deluxe. Uh, this is Calicata Gold and you'll see that it's book match. We have a book match pattern right here. I try to put them a book match pattern that doesn't look like a Satan head. I don't know what you think that pattern looks like. It's pretty good, isn't it? But this is polished. Notice that the edge right here is miter. Everything butts up and it's very smooth. And this is a polished floor in here, so it's a very limited slip resistance right here with your linear drain. So the client who picks this option right here has the budget to get just what they want. They want that slick, crisp look right here. All the edges, even the threshold right here is, is miter. And so for a client who comes and says, hey, I want that look right here, but I can't afford that price, or uh, we want to step it down a little bit, they don't have to compromise really that much. They can choose the sluter edge. And to be honest with you, I know I say grout is out on some of my videos, but this pattern of grout right here, these 15 by 30 tiles really look like Greek stones to me. This really sets it off and looks like a, a, a it's just a, such a clean look. And some people would actually prefer this look compared to the smooth look, you know, the seamless look. And uh, you have your regular drain right here, your little small drain and the floor is done. You have your sluter edge on this piece too as well, where that side is mitered over there. And this is just a general way, just two different variations, but I think the effect is awesome. I think it's a great approach to good design right here. So we have the mitered edge, 100% mitered edge right here with a high linear drain and a more updated faucet. And then we have the edges down here with sluters. So it's a great example of value engineering for your clients to get that budget just where you want to, to maximize profit for them. Thanks Ralph for sharing that information with us. My clients really do appreciate that. Now Travis Conrad is going to talk to us about another application for their product. You can put this as a cladding on the exterior of your house. And this is called a curtain wall application. Now this can be used for residential and or commercial. All right, Travis, can you explain to us a little bit better how this works? Absolutely, and more than just that, it can be glazed into cur uh, curtain wall systems, window systems, uh, modified thin set as tile. Uh, but in particular, what we'd like to highlight is our ventilated rain screens, and particularly the offerings that we have. We have three systems here that we're looking at. The first are your HC and your VM system, which stand for hidden chemical and uh, visible mechanical. These are I call kind of the IKEA of systems. You buy the bits and pieces, really great for home builders, really great for small commercial developers, uh, because you don't have to have this big pre-panelized application. You can buy the bits and pieces, fabricate it on site, lick them and stick them as I like to say, or mount them on the, on, on the wall. Uh, and it's really easy and it's a really inexpensive way to get a really nice look. And what's nice about a ventilated rain screen system for our audience is it allows the water, if it gets in, to dry out pretty quickly. And this keeps the, this keeps the building material off of the building envelope and allows it to dry off. Now, I know a lot of the other products have issues with the sun and whatnot. And from what I understand, that your product actually can withstand UV rays. Oh yeah, absolutely. So being a 100% mineral-based product, people like myself with design backgrounds, we know that all colors are derived of minerals. So if you have the color, the mineral cobalt, which is blue, 
it will be blue forever. It's never going to fade or discolor over time. And that's same to be true with Neolith. And that comes with a 25 year warranty stating that you're not going to see one ounce of change in color and tone for that entire life of the product. Well, that's pretty amazing. So a lot of these dyes and stuff that they add to the other products, within a few years, sun hits it, and then you go to the other side where the sun isn't hitting, it's a different color. So it's, it's nice to have a product that can withstand the sun and be consistent in its durability for what? 50, 75, 100 years? Exactly, and on top of that, you've got other products that are porous, that are gonna stain and weather over time from things getting into the product. Being a non-porous product, that's a non-issue as well, too. So really, there's nothing else like this on the market. You guys are the only ones that can truly make that claim that, it's, that it is porous, it is mineral-based, and um, you don't have those chemicals in there. No, and coincidentally, that's my background. I've worked with it all, metals, uh, phenolics, um, cementitious panels. Uh, this is the only product that can make those claims because of its density, because of its mineral content. Now, whether you use Neolith on the inside or the outside, now this product is designed for both locations. Now, exterior, why this is the choice over many of the other composites that, that we work with, is that this is UV resistant. The chemical composition of this, or the lack of chemicals, because there's many minerals and other ways of creating the textures. Uh, this is a sintered stone, which means it doesn't have that bonding agent the same way as quartz composites, or even quartz, makes this a superior product for the exterior of the house. Now, if you're doing an outdoor kitchen or outdoor grill, this is great because it's easy for cleanup. It's very durable, it's not gonna break, and it's also not going to fade. Now, the same thing with the exterior curtain wall applications. While many other products will fade on the outside, this product will not. So this is why this is our go-to choice for exterior uh, countertop or solid surface applications. Thanks again for watching another episode of Sawhorse TV. I hope you enjoyed it. We really enjoyed talking to our reps and learning more about these products for you, our clients. Um, for your convenience, we've loaded up some other videos just like this for some other high-end luxury design trends. Um, if you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can get notifications of other videos that are just like this as we release them. And we release this content at least twice a week. See you next time.